guys, welcome to my channel. I know it's been kind of a while since I filmed last. Life has just been chaotic. If you guys are still subscribed to my channel and still watch my videos, I appreciate you so much. I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I hope that you guys had a great holiday. Life has just been hectic and I've just been super busy with a new hobby that I've been doing. I have been making clay jewelry and I have my own Etsy shop and so I've just been so busy um, making earrings. It's been like a newfound love of mine and I really enjoy it. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos of me like creating earrings, the process and all of that. Um, I will link my Etsy down below if you guys are interested but I make these really really cute clay earrings these are like one of my favorites they're like a knit style I don't know if you guys will be able to see that but I will be launching a new collection in January with a bunch of like mauve tone earrings I'm gonna have some Valentine's Day earrings keep your eye out for that but yeah I will have my Etsy shop linked down below it would mean so much for your support um spread the word it's so much work but so much fun and it's just it's a newfound hobby of mine that I just really, really enjoy. So that's where I've been. But today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas. I figured you guys really liked these videos. And this is not me bragging or anything. I'm just showing you guys things that I got. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to talk about the first thing because I'm so... I was so excited for this, but I'm kind of bummed about it. And I just want to talk to you guys about it because I don't know. I have mixed reviews. I asked my fiance for this because I've always wanted the Dyson, but I just could not spend $600 or whatever the price is on that. It's just too much. I am a hairstylist, so I can curl my hair pretty quickly, and my curls usually last in my hair pretty well. Um, so I tried this um, on Christmas Eve, and I was disappointed, and I, I'll tell you why. Um, first, I this is just the box. I do have it out for you guys. Um, so this is what it looks like and it's pretty lightweight So this is the shark flex style. So it's supposed to be similar to the Dyson, but it's a lot cheaper It's like half the price actually um, So I was really excited about this and I've only used it once so I can't really Put too much input on it, but first impressions. I was not Impressed at all. Actually, this is my hair from two days ago and usually when I curl my hair it will last like for days and this is just like what I'm left with it's pretty straight and my hair is pretty lightweight so it holds a curl pretty well um so long story short I'm just if you guys want to see a whole review on this then let me know but what I was kind of disappointed with was I don't know if you guys can see there's like little indents on this and when I would use it, it would leave crimps in my hair wherever these little indents were, no matter what I did. And I'm pretty like good with using hair products like this because I am a hairstylist, so I have a lot of experience with, you know, curling irons, blow jars, all the things. And I just could not figure out how to not get the indents in my hair. Um, I tried doing the lower setting, I tried doing the hotter setting, I tried leaving it on longer for the cool setting, and I just couldn't figure out how to avoid getting those crimps in my hair. Let me know if you guys have tried this and you have experienced that, or I don't know, maybe I am using it wrong. I, I was just disappointed. And not only that, the curls did not last. I'm telling you, after an hour, my hair was straight. And... It's good for, I feel like it's good for some body, but I just feel like if I'm going for a curled look, I'm just going to use my curling iron from now on, but I am going to play with it more. It did come with some other parts with like the little um, blow dry brush and all that. So I do have to play with it more, but I just wanted to vent about that because I was so excited and I'm just not loving it. So let me know if you guys have tried it, what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see like a full review of me like using it for the second time. Maybe you guys can see what, how I'm using it. Maybe you have different tricks on how you like to use it. I'm really sorry if this lighting is not that great. My son is sleeping right now and so my filming room is right next to his room. So I don't want to wake him up. Um, so I'm sorry about the lighting. I figured I'd have a little festive background, um, but okay. So moving on, um, my fiance also got me a pair of Beat headphones, which I was really surprised about because mine got stolen out of my car a couple months ago and I just didn't want to buy another pair. So he went and got me the same exact 
um, style that I had and I'm really excited to have these I love beats they're great I did ask him for this perfume which I am in love with so this is the Letta 22 Auras perfume Stephanie Letta here on YouTube I've followed her for years and she came out with her own perfume and I trust her opinion with perfumes because any perfume she talks about I typically like so I had a feeling I would love her perfume and so I asked for it and I am not disappointed this perfume I can't really describe it has like a very unique smell to it and I will leave her video linked down below where she's kind of explaining the scent because I'm not very good at explaining but it has like a very creamy buttery vanilla but not it's not like a strong vanilla I don't I'm so I'm so bad at describing perfumes, but I will say it slightly reminds me of Ariana Grande Cloud, which is one of my top favorite perfumes. It's not like a dupe, but it kind of reminds me of those same kind of tones, but this perfume lasts beautifully on my skin and it's amazing. So if you're looking for like a new perfume that's very unique and doesn't really smell like anything in your collection, I highly recommend. It's such a beautiful bottle so pretty stephanie you did such a good job i love this perfume so much and then another perfume that my sister actually got me i ran out of it's by armani and it's because it's you i love this perfume i'm someone that loves perfumes that remind me of something so i wore this perfume on our first like family beach vacation and so now anytime i smell this perfume it brings me back there and that's what i love about perfumes is you just it it, rem it gives you like memories. I don't know. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but anytime I smell this, it just brings me back to vacation and we had such a good time. So I needed another one. So I asked for this and I'm so excited. She actually got me like the bigger one. So I'm so excited about that. Okay. So this is all tangled, but my sister did get me this really pretty kind of like um, layered necklace. She did also get me these really cute um, gold little huggy hoop earrings and she did get me another little dangle necklace. She knows that I love gold jewelry. So love those. She also did get me these shoes which I'm obsessed with. These are the Converse Chuck Taylor um, high tops. Like come on. Look how freaking cute these are. Um, so cute. I feel like these look so adorable with leggings and just like a big loose kind of like crop hoodie or even a pair of skinny jeans. I freaking love these so much. My mom got me this. I don't know really what this is, but it's like a selfie stick. It can actually do a 360 and it follows you around. So if you're doing like a live on TikTok or you're like, I don't know, doing a workout or something, it like follows you around. So I thought that was really cool. So she did get me that. I'm excited to play with that. I did ask my fiance for some makeup products that I really wanted. And this was one of them. This is the Lorac Pro Palette Noir. I have not switched up my eyeshadow palettes in forever. I've been using the same narcissist one and I love it because it has a bunch of neutrals in it. But I saw this on Ulta and it was really pretty and it really stood out to me it has like a lot of neutrals some warmer tones and a lot of shimmers in it so i have not used it yet but i'm really excited to use it, it looks really pretty he actually picked out these really cute stick on um nails for my stocking stuffer i was really surprised like i was not expecting this usually like i have to tell him like the things that i want and then he just you know gets them for me but he actually picked these out um himself because he knows that i love stick on nails which by the way please ignore my nails they are hideous so i definitely need to use one of these but he knows i love stick on nails and he also put this in my stocking stuffer which i was also impressed with this is the Too faced bold lipstick lady bold lipstick and this stuff it does not budge i put this like i swatched it on my hand christmas eve and it will not come off so i don't know if this is like a long lasting lipstick but it is in the color level up it's like a peachy shade <clears throat> really pretty i was impressed with that as well and he also got me this really cute nail polish which was just so cute it's it's actually a really pretty color um it's called quest for quartz it's like a lavender sparkly color and then i did ask for this foundation this is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation i have it on my skin today i used to use this a while ago and i loved it and i just kind of 
I just never repurchased it and then I was browsing Ulta and I saw it so I asked for it and it's such a good foundation. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I ran out so I got a new one. I also got some backups of my favorite sponge that I've been using. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I do not like the Beauty Blender, like the original Beauty Blender because of the shape of it. I tried using it the other day and because of the round part, I feel like it's such a small little circle that it doesn't blend my makeup like I like it to. Whereas this sponge, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has a flat spot. So it really just blends my makeup so nicely. I like more of like a flat sponge rather than round. And then I use the other side to blend like my concealer and it's great and I love them. So got some backups of those. Um, my sister actually got me this liquid lipstick by Stila in the shade, I think it's Bachi or Baki. And I used to have this. And I think it like dried out. It was so old. So I'm really excited to have this again. It's like a really pretty like mauve purple shade. It's stunning. So she got me that. She also hooked me up with my favorite, favorite, favorite scrub of all time. You guys, this is such a good scrub, especially if you are someone that likes to self tan. This is going to exfoliate your skin and leave your skin so soft. Um, this is by Tree Hut. This is the Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Their sugar scrubs are so good. Look at this super cute ornament she got of my family. It's so cute. Cannot wait to put this on the tree next Christmas. Benefit Brow Pencil. I have been, I have not had like a high-end brow pencil in so long, but I'm excited to use this one again because I used to use this all the time. It's the Precisely My Brow. It has like a very tiny point to it and I'm excited. My mom hooked me up with some Bath & Body Works soap. I love this soap for my kitchen. It's called Kitchen Lemon. She got it in the foaming style and then the gel style. I love this scent. It's just such a nice, clean, like fresh scent. So she got me four of them. So I'm gonna put one in every bathroom. She did also get me um, a lot of baking stuff that I'm not gonna show you, but she got me some like Pyrex, um, nice dishes. She got me like some measuring cups because I've been really enjoying cooking recently and like making soup and all that stuff. She also got me Victoria's Secret underwear. I needed I needed a refresh. I needed an underwear refresh. She got me a Victoria's Secret PJ set that's so soft. I thought this was gonna be like that kind of like flannel, like kind of rough feeling that I thought I would sweat in, but it's actually like really soft and it's this beautiful like black, white, and pink checkered pattern. Comes with the pants as well. I love comfy clothes, you guys. That's like all I live in. And then she found these really cute bodysuits off Amazon. You guys, I'm telling you, some Amazon clothes are such a hit. And this is by, these are by the brand Mango Pop, which I feel like is kind of popular on Amazon, but they have so many different style bodysuits. So she got me this like long sleeve kind of like um, ribbed bodysuit. I love wearing white as you can tell. Oh my God, you guys, this lighting is so bad. I'm gonna try to turn you. I hope that you guys will just watch anyway. Um, I wanted this to be more of like a vlog style type video anyway. Um, so I hope that you guys don't mind about the quality. I just wanted to sit and be comfortable and talk to you guys. So I really hope that you guys don't mind, but um, Anyways, and then this is by the same brand, but it's like this really pretty like maroon color. It has like a short little um, turtleneck on it by the same brand, has like this little cutout. This one's actually like a thicker material, so great for the colder weather. She got me a black long sleeve bodysuit, and then she got me one more bodysuit that is actually really nice. It's a different material, but it's by the same brand. It's like more of a buttery material, and you guys won't be able to really see, but it has like shoulder cutouts, and it's a bodysuit and has like this little turtleneck. So if you guys are looking for some nice bodysuits, check out Amazon and the brand Mango Pop. Um, really impressed with these. They seem like great quality. So, and then my sister got me this little cute, like summer dress, sage green. Um, dress this will be perfect for the summer um, and then she also got me a pair of jeans and she got these from Shein as well Shein is like 
popping recently. And then my mom also did get me these really nice slippers, which I actually did get these same exact slippers for my mother-in-law. I got her them in like this really pretty like navy color. This is the Jessica Simpson brand, and these are freaking comfy, and they have great reviews. So if you're looking for like a new slipper, definitely check out Amazon. I will leave, I will try to link everything that I'm talking about down below for you guys if you guys want to shop for yourself. Maybe you have a, a gift card and you want to go crazy. Um, I did get some other like little small stuff, but um, I didn't want this video to be like too long. But yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas. I hope that you guys had a great holiday. If you don't celebrate, I still hope that you guys had a good weekend. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be putting this video up. I hope that you guys have a good new year. I'm sorry, I had to move the camera. The lighting was bothering me, but um, I'm just really aiming for 2023 to just be like a healthier version of myself. I really just want to get back in shape, get back to working out, and just like work on myself. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you guys are still watching, thank you so much. I appreciate your support so much. It means the world. Don't forget to check out my earrings. They're really cute, and I put so much love and effort into them, so it would mean so much to me, but yeah, it's like, do you guys hear him in the background? He's so cute, he kills me. But yeah, I hope that you guys have a good rest of the year, and I will see you guys next year. Bye.